Today we will uh, make key learning for this car. We go to coding programming and then we can go to key learning. We will see three buttons here. If you want to enable or disable some keys, we must click on this. If you want to program a new key using the ignition slot, uh, we must click on two. If you want to program manually, we must click on three. We will go on details one by one. First, let's see this function, what it will do. We can see here the 10 keys and every key we can see if it's used and if it's blocked or not. Also, we can see which key is in a slot. This is just to make sure that we will not overwrite on the wrong key. For example, this key which I inserted here, this is key number three. Also, this page can let us block or unblock. For example, this key is disabled. Of course, to use this function, the keys the key must, some valid key must be in the slot. Now it's sent to be enabled here. Same, also we can do something here. We can delete or we can save also. To save the key, which means before we delete it, if you want maybe to return it back. Uh, so it's better to save the data. So in the future we can return it back. So let's say that we want to, to, to save this key and we want to delete it later. So we can click on save. Now, this is the ID of the key, so I can know it later save and now I can go to delete the key Now it's not used, so we can rewrite on this key. Now let's imagine that we don't have any key and we want to program a new key for this vehicle. Now I prepared a new key, so if we can see this key is not valid we can easily program any key let's say that we'll use the slot number 10 or key number 10 and this is just a transporter so first we must keep this key out not in the slot and this is are you sure you want to program new blank key in key number 10 yes so I should keep this away. This key should be away from the slot. Now it's still asking me to insert a blank key. I have insert this key and then I press OK. Now it's checking the key status. Now the car is working with the new key so now we have two keys of course note that we didn't need this key for anything except sometimes it's needed to block or unblock delete or undelete delete or save some keys now we have third option which is for some reasons maybe people they don't want to make key programming uh, on the slot for some reasons maybe the car is not available maybe they want to do this directly into CAS 
so we give this option Now the available key which are not used and also not blocked so we have only now key number four key number five key number eight key number nine to uh, write on also we can read the, the info if we see these are the info for in case let's say that we will restore the key which we have deleted before so we can click here we click in this so now it was in key number eight we replace it to key number four or we can use that that key in another car also if you use this data and make direct saving to the cas so now we have mainly two options for writing or making a key we have making key on the slot and making key directly into cas by typing uh, this data this data can be retrieved by any um, key um, programmer or key tool uh, I forgot to mention here very important note that when we want to program a key um, we are not allowed to program on used keys we will always we will see the options only for unused and enabled keys for example here number four number five is allowed and number eight and number nine and for security issues we are not showing any data to any used key so these data are protected for you and for your customers that's it i think this is easy thank you very much